is going on guys this is bad hell 24 and finally <laughs> welcome to the doki doki salvation remake this has been a long time coming and i've teased this in my salvation og replay that we were doing this if you have not seen that replay i highly suggest watching that now if you haven't uh, if you want to see all the different changes and stuff that happen in this mod, or if you don't want to, then this is a good point to actually be going into a completely blind. Like me, we have this regular splash screen here. Uh, I'm starting to get the second dialogue because I accidentally skip, I accidentally clicked the first one, but it just said Doki Doki Salvation is a mod for a Doki Doki uh, game made by Team Salvato. It is designed to be played only after the official game has been completed and contains spoilers for the official game. Yes, of course. Doki Doki Salvation Remake is a remake of the 2018 mod known as Doki Doki Salvation. It is not necessary to play the original mod to enjoy this one to its fullest. Game files for Doki Doki Literature, blah 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 is just the regular jargon uh, that shows up at the beginning of every single, you know, mod. Stuff like that, but I agree. Oh boy, a mod made by a bunch of groupy people. Oh shit. Oh, let's see it, dude. Oh, this is the same one. Oh, the animations. The animations. Okay, this is what I did before. Mark a see trophy up to left for seat anyway. Uh, yeah. Please do. Okay, let's see it, dude. Oh. My. God. Oh, my God. I'm already on the main menu in a mod if you can add. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Let's do it, dude. New game. Please enter your name. It actually has the prompt this time. Yes. Ugh. The music. The music. The music. Wait, this is different. Usually it went through like the fucking traceback text, but this is entirely di Oh my god. Okay, calm down. Let's do it. This music. Hmm, everything would be easy if I just deleted her. She's only making it so difficult. Wait. What's this? I can't delete her? Why isn't it working? Wait, she can't die! That's just gonna screw up everything! Oh god, I already did this. I thought I had full control of the code. Well, <laughs> you thought wrong, bitch. You fucking thought wrong. <sighs> you thought wrong, you fucking bitch. I really messed up. Help me. No, I don't think I will. I don't think I will help you. Oh my god. Here we go. I jerk up and rise from bed suddenly. The hell? I shake my head and roll my eyes as I reach my phone on the next stand. It's around 2 in the morning, so I know I didn't get a good night's sleep. I roll my eyes and you go like on my bedroom window. To my surprise, so his bedroom lights seem to be on, which confuses me. Maybe you should just turn off the lights out before she went to bed? It seems like something you should do. Oh, wait. What if she's up thinking about what I told her yesterday? I guess what would make sense. She literally told me about her depression. It's probably something she wouldn't joke about. Maybe I should check up on her. Or is that too weird? I'll call up first. Maybe I'm just overthinking this thing. Yes! Actually! Actually, wait! That's a better idea here instead of just going over there. 
and suppressing her, you can try calling her and see what's up. And then if you then if you get no answer, you go over there. And she is making a logical move now. And she is making a fucking logical move now. Hello? When does VMC ever make a logical move? The fuck? I picked up my phone and unlock it not before long the brightness so it doesn't absolutely get strung my eyeballs. I click on says contact and hit call. The phone. Huh? Straight to voicemail for phone stuff? Well, I guess she's done the phone before Brad. I should probably do that too. Hmm. The ambience. There's ambience. There's like a wind sound going on. Oh. Say it was and racing all over my mind. I don't think I'll be able to sleep like this. But I have to. I need to be in the best shape for the festival. I did promise to spend it with her after all. So, now that I think about it, I should have offered to do that in the first place. Screw it. I better go check up on her. You better. Wouldn't that make you feel bad? Considering she mentioned so much bother her and people worry, but we're dating now, aren't we? I'm wasting time. I put on some shoes and get ready to outside. You better go the fuck outside, bitch. You better go the fuck outside and go up there. The light's off. In the OG, the light would be on. Sure enough, down the road, Sears lights are still on. I can't see them on, though. The fuck? I can't really see anything moving through a window, though, so I'm still in the dark here. I start thinking back to what I told her yesterday. How I said I'd be there for her and all that. And while well, that I also loved her. Yeah, she did. I mean, I do love her, don't I? I mean, you do. We're dated, right? If I'm being honest with myself, I'm still not too sure about my feelings for her. I don't want her to f think I feel this way just because she's depressed or that I just lied to her to make her feel better. But am I lying to myself about my own feelings because she's depressed? I really don't know anymore. There we go. Oh, wow! Wait! All the lights are on now. Like, every single light from here and the house next to her is on. Whoa. I reached the front porch all myself and been up before knocking a few times on the front door. Our parents are almost never around, but they all say they pay rent, so I guess it still works out. I mean, <laughs> true. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Still, you think parents of a girl with depression would stop by a little often? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's true. We barely ever see serious parents, even though she's probably told her parents that she has depression and stuff. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. Beats me why her pants wouldn't be around all that much. But fucking... Ugh. I guess it's not really my place to do. Yeah, true. Yeah. Also, whoa. That slow fade out. Interesting. I slowly open the door put my hand into a living room. At this point, it's impossible not to log out. So, he's not... He didn't check around the side of the house to see if the lights were still on. Because he could already see the lights. Interesting. Interesting choice. He's just going right in. Should I call her or something? I mean, I'm not trying to scare her either. Sorry, it's bad. I saw your lights on and, um, well, I wanted to see how you were doing. No response. I'm starting to feel quite anxious now, but I also can't help but feel like I'm really overstepping my boundaries here. Isn't this a beach of tr Whoa! I suddenly hear a loud bang from upstairs. Huh? Okay, that's different. Sarah, so, you alright? I called the garage and thinking. Quickly grabbed the dog and... She's... 
<gasps> oh my god! Wait, instead of catching them, they're falling! We catch them! Oh my god! 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 Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's suspended in the air, her neck being crushed by the rope from her own weight. Her one cheerful voice now reduced to weak goggles. What the fuck? Doki Doki Salvation Remake. Oh my god. Written and coded by 12 Giz Guy 6. Wow! That's the intro? What the fuck? Oh my god. Dude. This is insane. Oh, uh, we're doing a full playthrough of this. We're doing a full playthrough of this. I don't care how many how many YouTube parts I have to do with this. We're doing this. We're doing this from the beginning. Oh my Fucking God. What an intro, dude. What a fucking intro. Act one, savior. You came for me? Why? What a fucking intro. Whoa! This one DLC Plus! Okay, everyone! The Adventure Club is starting. Let's have a seat and take. Whoa! I fall to my knees in pain. What the fuck? Huh? That was strange. Hmm. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, everyone, the Lynchia Club it. Huh? I followed my knees again, much harder this time. What's going on? I noticed a look around me. The atmosphere of the room has changed. Everything that I was just worried about is gone. And it's worth something weirder. Whoa! What the fuck? I'm thrown to the floor by some otherworldly force. My vision goes entirely blank. Hello? I go with pictures for the hair of his in front of me, staring at me blankly. I've never seen this girl in my life. I know I haven't. Yet I'm somehow aware of her presence. She's always been here. In fact, there are two others. No. Three. How's that possible? I quickly stand up and regain my bearings. What the fuck is this? Did she just have an epiphany? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I never do this. Whoa! Yeah, she's having an epiphany! Whoa! That's crazy. What the hell? Yeah, okay. My world crumbles around me once again for a split second. Hey, is this a napping club? 
What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. N nothing's wrong. This is... I pause. Not out of investment or anything like how I was feeling before. It's peering out of here. The, the room's zooming in. Fear of what'll happen next if I keep the composition going. This isn't normal. And I have to find out why. This is the Ledger Club. It's so great to have you. It all began there. Yeah, the epiphany! It all became painfully clear to me. Everything happens for a reason, right? But it wasn't always like this. And I never wanted to believe it. Despite anything coming to part around me. I never wanted to believe my friends were all fake. Sorry, I knew this was the only light I had. But even that had to fade away eventually. And I'm here now. This is just something we've made. This is not how things were supposed to go, but... I'll play along. Wow. Oh my god. Dude. I still can't believe that this guy switched it. So that instead of catching her before the act, we run in on her while she's hanging there. Like, that is wild. That is the craziest way to set up the intro for this. My legs have been bouncing up and down. Furiously, as if they knocked on something to say, Ari. It just all happened so fast. From the moment I left the drug and removed the nukes, the ambulance taking me away. It's been a few hours now, and still no sound of any doctors coming to tell me what I really want to hear. She's going to be okay. I place my face into my hands. I don't know if she's going to be okay. How did this happen? Did I let this happen? Was all of this my fault? I should have been there for her. I should have been the friend she needed. But I was so dense, I never realized that the girl I knew from my childhood wasn't the same anymore. I realize now, more than ever, how terrible of a friend I've had to her. I called her out on her insecurity and wrote all her friends and strapped and assaulted her. Hell, I think I even had her out of a Natsuki at one point. How did I take it for granted for so long? She's been my friend since we were kids. And after hanging out with her again after so much time has passed, I realize that I do feel something for her. But it was too late for that. Hey. Pat, you doing all right? What the fuck? Monica's here. Monica, what the fuck are you doing here? I walk up to see familiar face, the president of the lunch club. I'm okay. But say I. I know. I understand. Did she? That's slowly on my head. I see. I'm so sorry, Pat. I really should have warned you sooner. Warned me? No. You you think you knew this was gonna happen? No, not like that at all, but I feel like I should've just... Marcus has looks on the floor. Do you, do you mind if I sit down? All of a sudden you wanna be nice? To me? Like... After you cause this? Bitch? Fuck? All of a sudden you wanna sit down next to me and talk? Like you didn't just... Infer and imply that you knew that say was gonna hang himself. The fuck? I shook my hand and moved aside the couch I was sitting on. I noticed myself shivering quite a bit. Why would we do to all these nerves when I'm doing right now? But I guess Mark can notice some quickly remedies to a black for a bag for a blanket of some sort. Pat, you must be freezing. You're still in your pajamas. Yeah, well, I didn't exactly have time to change it to anything more proper. I don't want to drop to a blanket off it, though. I guess it's a little chill. I guess it's a little chilly in here. You seem pretty dressed up, though. Ah, oh, well, you see. The truth is, Harry and I did talk before all this happened. He really did insist on saying on that day we were supposed to work together. But the way she was typing, the way she lettered the sentences, it just didn't seem like her. And I let myself get further and further away from her as I got older. You're not blaming Phil for all this, are you? I, I don't know anymore. 
and that's the cold hard truth. I told her I loved her, and he would help. He didn't. I let myself drift apart from her, along in our friendship. Why wasn't I able to tell how she was feeling? Did she try asking me for help and I was just too stupid to notice? Maybe I'd have been able to rate her better if we hadn't drifted apart. I clenched my fists and slammed them on my knees. Why her? Why did this have to happen to her? My vision starts to blur as tears begin to seep out and fall into my arms. Marcus stays quiet and my quiet sobs start to mix in with the sound of the hospital. It's probably been multiple hours at this point, and they have not heard anything at all from Sayuria, the doctors taking care of her. What the fuck? Oh my god. Some time passes after Monica could join me in the club room, in the office room. Still no sign of baby doctor didn't have to tell me when I can see it. I guess I'm not too familiar with the process of stopping someone from committing suicide. Those are procedures that have to take place to try and fix whatever she damaged. Her depressed face keeps flashing my mind every time I close my eyes. I pull my phone in my pocket to check the time. Six in the morning. I'd probably be getting ready for school around this time. Hey, Marco, could you call the school to let them know I'm going to be absent today? Marco shakes her head. No need to worry about it. I've already sent emails to my teachers and explained the image scheme up. Plus, I'm sure the hospital already notified the school of the situation. I'm sure you teachers will understand. I saw it on my hand and looked back down at my hands. Suddenly, a doctor comes up in the nearby room, looking quite tired. He nods and motions for me to come towards him. Monica, can you come with me? I don't know if I can handle what I'm about to say by myself. Of course, I planned on it. I hand the blanket back to Monica and get up from the couch. I walk swiftly up to the doctor and start pestering with questions. Is she okay? How is she? And she in pain? How long until she would? The doctor, to my surprise, chuckled and passed my shoulder. She's alright, son. You actually saved her life? Saved? Saved her life? What? Yeah, we only had to intubate her for a few short moments. If you'd been any later, I think she would have been in a much worse condition. I. saved her? What's it about this woods that feels so hard to believe? She did get three boots up from that rope. She gave her range for her, but luckily no other piece of damage. To put it simply, she'll be okay. We've notified her parents and contact to the school. We're gonna keep her for a few days. She's in a medically induced coma at the moment, but if you'd like to see her, you can go ahead. The doctor slowly opens the large door to be able to some large hospital room. I slowly step inside, not before taking a deep breath and preparing myself for what I'm about to see. Marco follows shortly behind me. Uh, I quickly walk and I stop dead in my tracks. She seems to be sleeping sadly, but I know it's just the mids keeping her under. Her neck is bandaged up, and I assume her fingers are much different. Oh god, Sayori. What the fuck? If this is hitting me hard now, then I am not fucking ready for what this mod has to offer in the long run. I... Dude! Dude! Oh, I'm tearing up already, what the fuck? I slowly walk into the bed and gently put my hand over hers. The doctor's words ring back to me. You saved her life. I still don't feel like I did. I feel like all this just made it way worse. Suicide. That worse has ever felt to tell you before. I mean, sure, it's a depressing subject, but there isn't much of her meaning when you catch your best friend hanging yourself. I thought my words were easy after I saw but now they're growing. What's gonna happen when she wakes up? What's she going to say to me? What's she gonna think when she realizes that I'm the one who stopped this from happening? Is she going to hate me? 
I turn to his mark who seems lost in thought she stares at Sari. My vision begins to blend and tears start to fall on top of Sari's hand. And you know what? As much as this shit up sucks, she's alive. My best friend is still alive. Monica is being handled much differently now. Like, Monica's character is, like, vastly different. I love this. This is actually good. The fuck? The hot modern in the background is proof of that. Through my blurred vision, I reach over and brush away strands of Sari's hair so it doesn't block her face. Everything will be okay, Sari. And I'm here for you. Some time has passed. I guess I'm about to doze off in the chair, not too far from the other bed. I saw it with my eyes, and to my surprise, I see a familiar face in front of me. It's Sari's mother, sitting in her chair next to Sari. She looks incredibly distressed and upset, not that it's any surprise to me. I've only been with her a few times, mostly when I was younger. When Sari turned 18, her hands began working harder and longer shifts with their dad moving overseas. They never really stop by too often these days, but I guess that you could say it would take care of herself, which is baffling to me because... Surely they knew about her depression, right? Unless Sarah kept this from them as well? She notices I'm awake and gives a sad smile. I give her a light smile back. We don't really say much to each other, though. There's nothing I of us can say that would really make the situation feel any better. I pull up my phone and check the time. Most of the morning has gone by already, and I'm starting to feel quite hungry. Have you been bad? I suddenly jumped at the human to speak. She isn't looking at me, but I noticed tears rolling down her cheeks. I'm okay. Good. That's wonderful. Her voice cracks. It's almost as if she's trying to keep herself together by asking me this question. I know this Monica's also nowhere to be seen. I assume she must have headed back to school without telling me. Sadie's so mother texts her watch and looks rather surprised. Forgive me back, but could I ask you a favor from you? Of course. Anything. I really gotta get going. My job doesn't guess give me much free time. I can't be with too long. As much as I would love to stay here and watch her, I can't afford to lose this job. I wouldn't be able to afford the hot girl books if I did. But her dad's on his way, so you don't have to bring this up by staying here. She stutters over her words. This is a game, ma'am. I promise I'll take good care of her. There's no trouble. She begins to drive it harder than some, but she manages to say thank you before bowing and walking out of the room. I guess I know a little more about why her parents are gone most of the time. Working hard to support their daughter. I wonder if they ever feel, I wonder if they ever feel burdened by that. I get from the chair, I slept in a walk at the bedside. There she is. Still laying in the bed. Hey, Sari. Just wanted to talk, I guess. Not that you can really hear me. I, uh, well, I want to apologize for everything. It's my fault you're in this situation. If only, if only I'd come to you sooner. Oh, if only I'd stay by your side. If only kept that promise I made to you all those years ago. You know the one. The same day I helped you win that big stuffed cow you won so badly. I'd always be your, I'd always be your bestest friend. I'm sure I am. I sure am a horrible friend for letting things end up this way. I feel tearful down my cheek. I'm just glad you still last here. I don't know what I do with myself with a loss to. I saw some complaint over a bandage one. But I promise, I'll always be here for you. Do thick and thin, because that's what friends do. I turn the left hand over my the blanket and kiss it softly. If I place hand back into the blanket, I feel a bit embarrassed. But I don't care anymore. Even after all this, I still think I'm in love with Sari. I always have been. Have I? I don't even know the real you. I nearly jumped up here and like knocked the door. Ah, oh, you're still here. Someone was looking for you. I thought you had already left with your friend from earlier. I shake my head. Well, I have to ask you to leave the room because we need to perform a few checkups on Miss Sari here. Oh, sure. Sorry. Um. Do you know what's looking for me? He smiles as he gets me out of the room. Right, I believe they're a friend of Sarah's. I wanted to invite you to lunch. I wonder who it might be. Monica? Maybe Monica 
Maybe not ski. Maybe uh, uh, uh. she's on the way. She should be finished for the hour. Thanks, Doctor. I walk out of the room and the door slowly closes behind me. I sigh for my eyes and tears and people left behind. The hallways of the hospital are a lot more lively than before, with doctors and nurses walking back and forth attending to many other patients. I walk back down to the ring room and I'm surprised if we could get away. Yeah, it's Natsuki! Hey, Matt, supposed to see me here? Uh, yeah, actually. How did you. Well, uh. Monica told us all about it and cancelled the festival as well. Oh shit. So she literally had to cancel the festival because of this. Okay, so this is very different from everything that we've seen in the OG. So. I mean. The basis is the same, but it's like a complete. Completely different story. What the fuck? I see. Not sure how I feel about Monica just going and telling Natsuki and Yuri all about this. So you barely wanted to tell me about her. I can't imagine how she feel about the whole club knowing about her. Listen, I'm pretty hungry and uh, well, do you want to go grab a bite to eat in the cafeteria? I only nod in response. Natsuki and I grabbed two sandwiches from the cafe before heading back to the waiting room to eat. It was extremely crowded. Natsuki didn't seem keen on sitting in there, so he decided on the waiting room. Hey, don't you gonna head back to school? Are you kidding? A lightning room skip the whole day too? As if. Besides, I wouldn't want to go back to school after what happened to the yard. I wouldn't really be able to focus. Really? Were you guys close to something? Natsuki gave me a look that merely makes me feel like an idiot. I guess it's kind of proves I don't really know Sayuri or Natsuki that well at all. And I tried dating her too. Natsuki grumbles to herself she takes a pretty hearty bite out of her sandwich. Well, I wouldn't call it close, but she was my friend. I would think that would be obvious to you. But I guess I was wrong to assume that about you. I shake my head and continue eating my lunch. We continue eating in silence. There really isn't much to talk about anyway. I know she's finished eating a lot faster than I did, as if she was starving or something. Ah, no, that was a good sandwich. What? Really? You think so? It's pretty bland to me. Yeah, well, you wouldn't know good food if it never hit you in the face. Ah, oh, right, I forgot who I'm talking to. I shrug my shoulders and continue eating. I'll admit, this was a little bit of a nice distraction for all of this. But now my mind shifted back to Sarah and you couldn't stay. I wonder if she's awake yet. No, she isn't. Around 30 minutes go by and the doctor finally appears from the room down the hallway. He flashes me thumbs up and gestures as if for me to go back. Come on, Natsuki. Let's go see Sayori. Oh, already? Okay. I saw the organ and Natsuki follow shortly after. I hear a loud gasp as he looks away. Hey, you gonna be alright? Yeah, it's just... Natsuki tries very hard to hide the emotions of voice but fails. It's really weird seeing her like that. All those tubes in her body. Is this also my fault? Of course not, don't blame yourself for this. Nobody knew this could have happened. Natsuki quickly rubs away her teeth and takes a deep breath. Okay, I'm sure she'd hate to see me cry like this anyway. But look, it just... Don't tell anyone you saw me like this, okay? I wouldn't even think of it. I follow Natsuki as she slowly walks up to Sayori. She sniffles lightly and rubs her eyes before speaking. Hey, Sayori, it's me, Natsuki. I am. Gosh, this is so weird, isn't it? This is. This is surreal, dude. Like. This is absolutely surreal. Also, first part, I'm already at 34 minutes. What the fuck? These are gonna be longer parts, I just know it. But uh, well, I just wanted to say that I really appreciate having you as a friend and I'm really glad you're okay. I know I was kinda mean to you at first, but well, I just didn't really get to know you all that well, that's all. But if I'm being honest with you, you really brought a lot to the club. I can't imagine anybody else has it first, doesn't it? Hold on. Hold the fucking phone. Hold the gosh darn.
Vad har vi inte ens fått igenom? Jag vill bara att ha en liten bärs som är en sån So you better get back fast. I don't think I'd ever forgive you if you let me along with that. I'll try to remind myself and not scare you as well. Not for wiping away a tear from her eye. Well, I also got some fucking that from you. What? You think I don't have a heart or something? Well, no, I guess I don't know. You know what I expected. Let me ask you something, Dad. Just last week, if I had to guess, you were trying to hit on me, weren't you? I nearly fell for not successfully for the question. I saw something on my side, really. Something just compelled me to go after her. All of this wasn't my own decision. But regardless of what happened, the hard truth is that I did try to go for her. I mean, one like my poems would we'll tell you that. Why else would I bother I got puppies and kittens and all that? Well, I didn't really expect you to be so full of me first of all. Well, and I figured I'd ask you now. I don't think this is really a right time to ask anyway. I see, well, I guess it would be honest here. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I knew it. You knew? The whole time? Oh, come on, it was the obvious as heck. I mean, I do appreciate you taking my side and like my ring, but... I kind of always knew Sarah was the kind of girl. Plus, after really thinking it over, I should really try and improve my ring a bit more. I don't mean going all quick like a wheel like Yuri, though. But about the weekend, I realized I can probably get a little more creative on word choices. Well, that's great to hear, then. Honestly, I'm just glad things aren't to be awkward anymore. Yeah, Sari is... she's special to me. I don't really think I showed her all that much, but... Deep down, she's still one of my closest friends, you know? Yeah, I understand. I don't really have anybody I can call a close friend, but... I don't know being by myself, too. I'm learning to be independent, and that's a very important skill. So... With the way that, that all of this has changed and stuff... I wonder how they're going to tackle Nasty's home abuse and Yuri's cutting. I wonder how they're I wonder how they're going to tackle that. And please for the love of God, did you fix the car scene? That's what I want to know. Did you fix that goddamn car scene? <laughs> I'll try to look at myself. Now that's the nuts, can I know? I hear from Gola, seemingly coming from her. If she takes it out, she seems slightly annoyed. Anything wrong? Eh, not really. My friends are just like me where I'm at. It is much from at school, after all. I didn't exactly want to mention why I'd be speaking out today. Ah, uh, I understand. Let's get quickly types a message and puts her phone away. She sighs and looks back at Sierra, looking very lost in thought. I feel a bit guilty now. I'm not sure if the situation can really call for asking and I have a casual conversation like that. Regardless, we don't think anything to each other anymore. I don't think it's better that way. It's already around the time school suffer. I spent most of the day here in the sitting room watching over my friend who hasn't moved an inch since I got here. I'm extremely exhausted. That slave I got earlier wasn't nearly enough to get me back to speed. I miss my bed. And yet I can't imagine losing Sarah by herself. It just feels wrong. It's not like I don't trust the doctors and nurses that work here. I just feel like I should be here with her as well. And know they jumped up hearing a light knock on the door. And this walks in and surprisingly, Monica followed shortly after. Hey, Bat. I honestly didn't expect you to spend the whole day here. I shrugged my shoulders. I'm not leaving Sarah's son until I'm kicked out of here. Let me just open up the files. Because you never know. You never know what can happen. You don't know what can happen, you know? You don't know. Something can happen with the files at any time. You know how this game is. Actually, that looks like it happened soon. Visiting gals on the server. Ah, uh, well, I remember hearing that at least one person can sit with a patient if necessary. Oh, well, that won't be necessary then. I talked to Zay's mother and her dad will be staying overnight with her. You know her mom? Yeah, it's for her that I know all the girls' fans. Club presents and stuff, you know? Oh, well, that's new. Nobody ever told me that. So, you know my mom, too? Monica fidgets a little. Well, yeah, but, uh... 
Never had any conflict to, I guess. It's for emergency reasons. Right, so, what are you doing back here? Not that there's anything wrong with that. God, so many questions bad. Ah, right. Sorry. How about I walk you home? I'm sure you hate to be alone doing all this. Um, nah, okay. I'd actually rather be alone right now. It's, um, well. So let's take in. You understand, right? Ah, uh, yeah, I understand. I guess I'll stay for a few more minutes then. You should really get your rest though. I'm sure so I wouldn't mind, like. I'm sure so I wouldn't like for you to touch me for her sake. Once again, I shrug my shoulders in response. She gives me a friendly smile as I head out the door. For some reason, I feel like I should be suffering right now. I feel like I deserve the lens there just away from me. But there is some truth to Marcus' words, I think. You should probably tell me the answer to us as well. Oh my god. The usage of the new, like, backgrounds. Because we've seen this background in the car scene, but never, like, anywhere else. Now we have the, uh, like, the sunset, afternoon, evening variant. I decided to do a long through the city. Well, almost as if I'm biting my time for something, though I'm not quite sure what. I placed my hands in my pocket and just looked down at the sidewalk. Jeez, I mean, what a day. Even in my own thoughts, I don't know what to think to myself. It just hurts so much to think about how much pain cereal was in. I had no idea. I just feel like I could have done more. I know I could have done more. I'm so stu- Ow, what the- Please let's just say, Yuri. Hey, it's Yuri! Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry! Yuri, what are you doing here? Bat? Oh, Bat, I'm so sorry, I'm so clumsy, I didn't even see you. Oh, no, that's entirely my fault, right? I'll be with your box. It's obvious Yuri doesn't want me to get her books for her, so I quickly put them up. I quickly put them all up before she has any objections. So, uh, what are you doing out here anyway? Oh, well, I read the news about Sayari. I wanted to go see her. I was just there. Visiting I was ending a bit, I believe that's what Marco told me anyway. Eh, uh, really? Uh, always nice to meet things up, aren't I? No, no, it's okay, it's fine, really. I'm sure so I wouldn't mind at all. Yuri says quite in stepples. Well, I guess I'll just be hanging on then. This is your tomorrow. I'll probably be there too. The whole day. Now she also skipped a second out of class that's gonna see her. Oh, uh, not to as well. So, I'm the only one who didn't visit. Trust me, it's okay. I'm almost positive she don't understand. She probably says something about her school is more important or something. Thinking about it, I don't even think you really liked me all that much back in the club. We never talked to you that much after the few days. Was it because I never took a red device or that I just sat it with Natsuki all the time? Probably the latter. If we're being honest, it's probably the latter. She doesn't... She probably doesn't really, like, talk too much for that either, so, I mean... Ugh, we kind of burned a bridge with Yuri there, but... Um, Yuri? I want to apologize for not really taking any of your advice last week about writing. I don't want you to think I didn't appreciate it or anything, it's just... I don't really know what came over me. I mean, trying to go to club or sit around by these girls I've ever met before, it was all pretty overwhelming. Hey, or, you know what I mean. Right? Jerry, yeah, it was likely. You don't need to explain stuff that. I completely understand. If we're both being honest with each other, I'd be lying to myself if it doesn't bother me though. I guess I just, well, I saw you as another chance to find someone who appreciates me for who I am and doesn't fear me and that I, I, um, uh, I saw I was saying too much, didn't I? Um, it's okay, Yuri. Again, that's why I apologize. I didn't mean to make you feel that way or anything. Yuri stays silent, fidgeting with her hair. And now Kofana's now sweeped over us. Well, why should you get going? Will I see you at the hospital tomorrow? Y yeah, I think so. I should be able to focus some class then, so I'll be there all day. Babe, we get to know each other a little bit. Sound good? Yeah, I 
Like that. We'll see you, Matt. I turn around and start heading back towards my house. I don't exactly know if that would be considered a success in making a friendship or not. Like I said earlier, you and I didn't exactly get to know each other while in the club. Didn't think about going with one time, and I can't really remember anymore. That letter had a pretty cold yawn over my eyes. I really should get some proper sleep. I'm so tired. I completely forgot I'm still in my pajamas from last night. Though I'm pretty sure I'm going to be up all night thinking about Sayori. As a reef neighborhood, I catch a glimpse of Sayori's so house just a little trip ways away from mine. Dog, today would have been very different if Maki to wake me up last night. I guess I never got to thank her properly for that. I think back to the day I confessed we have a confession. I didn't understand her at all. I didn't understand how she was feeling, but I really wanted to help her. I really did. I wish I could tell her that. I wish I could just hold her and tell her that I really want to make things better. And Monica, she told Sayori that Nasty was going over, right? If Monica knew how Sayori was feeling, why did she bother mentioning that? I shook my head. It's probably just a coincidence. It's not like I expected Monica to know exactly how Sayori was feeling any moment either. About that. About that. And we'll see. I take one last look at Sayori's house before hitting this out of my own. I'll see you tomorrow, Sayori. Something is definitely wrong here. I've lost control of these files. Why? Things continuing despite all this? Were things with the planet this way? Natsuki and Yuri are acting quite different as well. In any case, it shouldn't be a problem. I've got this. Though, if I'm being honest, seeing everyone's reaction to all this has been interesting. But they really don't feel this way. They can't feel at all. Although, Toe's hot monitor still rings in my head. Over and over and over again. Oh! It wasn't your fault. It was. I know it was. Because all I had to do was take care of you and watch over you like any friend should. You just fell apart. That's nobody's fault. Are you telling me that there was nothing up sweet nothing that I could have done to prevent this? Yes. Because nobody can help you that. You don't understand me. But I want to understand. You just see that I'm trying? Is this Monica's influence? Was that Monica's influence? Anyway. That's going to be it for this first part of the Doki Doki Salvation remake. Wow. Uh, yeah. A lot has changed. A lot is different. And it's like a whole new story, but the same sort of basis uh, to it. It's like the same salvation basis, but with a brand new story. And that is something that I absolutely love. And I can't wait to see more of it. Um, this has been part one of my Salvation Remake playthrough. Yeah, we're going to continue this more. Uh, probably part two soon. Uh, I really do want to get back into playing more Doki Mods and this. But it is definitely interesting. I will see all of you in the next part. Later.